welcome to the vlog um, quick update on my gymming program before I carry on with the vlog I have been on the test frenzy for about five days uh, f yeah about, f about four days sorry um, so far I have noticed some uh, I've noticed muscle growth uh, more than usual obviously I have noticed a, a, an increase in strength when lifting the weights. Um, now I'm not talking about massive increases of, in strength, but strength that's you know that's normal. Um, again, I have to stress that this stuff is a testosterone um, booster. So what this does is this actually this uh, repairs the muscle. So this isn't the same as um, creatine monohydrate. Okay, creatine monohydrate repairs the muscle. If you want to get increased strength gains when lifting the weights in the gym, then I would recommend taking creatine monohydrate. Um, now, the only thing with creatine monohydrate is that you have to, have to drink at least two liters of water a day. You cannot skip drinking water. You, you literally, when you're on creatine monohydrate, any other liquid that you would have, that you would drink during the day, you do away with and you only drink water seven days a week for as long as you're on creatine monohydrate. The reason why I, why I say that is because creatine monohydrate is filtered through your kidneys. Um, so as such, it makes your it, your it makes your kidneys work even harder, harder than usual. Um, so if you don't drink enough water, the, wa the water basically, let me define it this way, the water basically helps filter the creatine through your kidneys, it helps flush your kidneys through. If you don't drink the water, um, basically what happens is that when your kidneys become under strain, like when you're walking or um, if you're training or whatever the case is, you'll feel an intense burning sensation in your kidneys. Now this is not good, okay, um, please do not skip drinking water if you're on creatine monohydrate, otherwise you can do damage to your kidneys. Um, if you want to take creatine monohydrate, speak to your trainer or speak to somebody that you trust at the gym that's got knowledge on supplements and supplementation. They'll be able to advise you accordingly. <coughs> um, yeah, so the other thing is, is that is my training program. Okay, this is my program. I don't know if you can see that, right? This here is program A, right? That's on Monday. Across the way here is Tuesday, oh sorry, Wednesday, and then uh, Thursday, and then I mean, Wednesday, Monday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, um, Friday, and then Monday again. Okay. Um, except that I do them. My first cycle for the first one to two weeks, I do do three sets: ten, eight, and eight. Except for when I do my legs. When I do my legs, I do five sets. Okay, I do about I do about four exercises on my legs. Okay, I do the standing calf machine. I do leg curls, leg press, and swing squat machine. Um, I do five sets on all of those. Okay, um, those are that's the only exercise where it's got the where it's got its own predefined um, sets and reps and what have you. Um, yeah, so. I'm on this and I'm on anabolic okay um, so far this is working wonderful I take four capsules um, about an hour before I train on training days only I remember saying this in my other video as well um, and four caps on an empty stomach before I go to bed on training days only as well um, yeah so that's the gym stuff out the way um, you guys would have noticed that I would have that I bought a new phone, an Android phone. Okay, Samsung Pocket. Uh, okay, that's it there. Okay, Samsung Pocket back. You can see it there, Samsung. Um, I bought it for the first, I don't know, three weeks. It worked perfect, perfect, perfect. I couldn't have been happier. Well, as happy as you could be with that phone, Android phone. Um, so basically what happened was that it worked and then I started getting some issues. 
Um, I noticed that when I was at work, okay, I work in the city, and I noticed that when I was at work, every now and then, my HSDPA network would drop. Now, sometimes it would drop entirely. Like, I would have no connection to the internet. It would just drop. Um, other times, it would fall over to Edge, not even to 3G, but to Edge. Um, and then it'll come up. Other days, it won't drop, and it'll, you know, just go through. And on other days, it'll drop like 50 times in a day, which is pretty irritating, and yeah. Um, and then I started getting, you'll notice in my other video, I started getting apps that were failing. They were like sort of failing to work and what have you. Okay, let me just, let me just put this back here. Okay, yeah, so I had apps that were just failing um, out of the blue. Uh, one of the ones that really irritated me was the Yahoo Mail app. Um, I wouldn't even have the app open. Um, I'd be doing something else or I'd be checking Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is and I'd get the error message saying that Ymail has stopped working and the app wouldn't even be open. Um, now I do understand that even though it wasn't open it still synchronizes in the background. Okay, that's fine. That's probably why it comes up with the app not even being open. So I thought, well, what I did was I emailed Samsung directly their advice was that I take it to a Samsung repair center. Now, I think I mentioned this in the other video as well. Because they thought it was a hardware issue. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I took out the micro SD card, which worked for a little bit. The phone was more responsive and what have you. Um, but I was still getting the errors. One of the noticeable errors was that the Google search bar, I don't know if you can see that, right? Right here, right? This Google search where you can do a voice search here on the corner. That wasn't working, or it wouldn't work. Um, so that was one of the, the biggest like, indicators that there was something wrong. Um, so what I did was, I went and I did a... Um, I thought well, what I'd do, I'd reset the phone back to factory settings, default, back up everything which I did. Actually, I downloaded an app. Um, I'll give you a sneak preview because I will include this in a um, in a what's on my Android video. That's one of the top top things. And I downloaded an app. Uh, let me just find it here quickly. It was called uh, SMS Backup Plus. Okay. Now, for those who aren't in South Africa, SMS is basically basically text text messaging and what have you. So I downloaded that. Because I've got all my payments history. Whenever I do like an online transaction or if I purchase something, um, I get an SMS saying that the money's come, that amount has uh, been deducted out of my account, and it'll give me what my new balance is minus the deduction, obviously. So I had all that history on there as well as personal texts and what have you. So I backed that up to the cloud. I backed up uh, my apps and what have you. Once I was done, um, I did the reset. Now, since I've done the reset and I've synced my apps back and I've resynced my texts back to the phone, sorry for, I don't know if you can hear my sister's bird. <laughs> um, since I've synced my apps back and synced my, my texts and my SMSs back, the phone has been better. I haven't had any apps failing yet, touch wood. <laughs> um, but I will make a note, I know what apps it was that were failing in the past and I will watch those carefully over the next couple of days and see if it happens again. Um, if it does then I'll obviously have to send the phone in to be repaired or to be uh, looked at to see if there is a hardware issue because it shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be happening. I've spoken to friends or to, and to other people who've got um, the same phone and they all said that they haven't for a phone that's four weeks old, they never had the same problem, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, so just to also give you an update on my tech channel, I, I know I haven't uploaded any videos there yet. Um, unfortunately, it's pretty hard to get any cases for these phones, any from any cases from any decent manufacturers. Let's put it that way. Manufacturers like Spec, Switch Easy. Um, oh, there's some other ones as well which I can't remember off the top of my head they don't manufacture cases for this phone or screen shields that, for that matter 
um, it, I did find I did find one company that manufactures a screen shield for this phone um, and that's Zag. if you didn't see my Zag install on my iPhone you can go over and, and look and look at it I did a, a full 20 minute install video on that um, I'm not keen on getting that screen shield for this phone um, reason being is so in, order, in order to place that screen shield on the phone, you have to apply a solution not only to the phone, right, onto the screen here, but on the screen shield itself. And I wasn't, even with my iPhone, I wasn't happy with doing that. So I'm going to have to just keep my eyes open, see if there's any decent manufacturers um, around. I'm not keen to go to eBay or Amazon or whatever the case is, because a lot of those manufacturers on there are Chinese manufacturers, and there's always defaults with the cases. and what have you so we'll have to just wait and see what happens here um yeah so i think that's about gonna do it um i think maybe next weekend i'll do a i'll, I'll not only i'll also do my my vlog video um my normal vlog video i'll do next week as well but i'll also do a what's on my android device um video showing you what apps i have um, and what have you um what are the favorite apps? What are my frequently most used apps? Um, yeah. So, I think that that's about going to do it for this week's vlog. I'm close on about 12 minutes. It's a little bit long, a little bit longer than what I expected, so sorry about that, guys. Um, don't forget to favorite down below, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, uh, subscribe is here at the bottom now, sorry. Subscribe. Um, yeah, leave your comments down below if you've got this phone. Pocket or sorry, the Pocket Plus or the Pocket. Let me know what if you had any issues with it. What were the issues? Were there, did you were you able to resolve your issues or did you have to have the phone replaced or did you just buy a whole new phone entirely, a whole different phone? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, yeah, I will see you next week. Peace.